Yeah. Hello, guys. <clears throat> Hello, kings, queens, and geeks. Powder Milk here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, guys, if you're wondering why the fuck I'm still wearing a Santa hat, it's because right now, as of this recording, it's still Christmas Eve, and I'm kind of killing time until midnight, so... And this is gonna stay up here until New Year's, so don't worry about that. So, anyway... Welcome back to Doki Doki. Now, where we last left off is, uh... It's starting to get a little more creepier. Um... It seemed that way anyway, and we're gonna continue right on with the uh, with the uh, thing here. So here we go, and I do believe we're getting close to the uh, the festival, and we're doing our first poetry. So let's go. I still want to focus on Yuri today. So still want to focus on Yuri. Hmm. Powder milk. Your writing has only improved these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing of sort of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't even think I've ever came... This ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's a wrong way to put it. You never did come natu This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really an example for... An uh, example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got a chance to share my writing. Never thought I'd feel like this. She's smiling this time! Instead of frowning when she blushes away, she's smiling! I remember you mentioning that yesterday. Wait, I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something that you've never even shared with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, she, Yuri s smiles sadly. Powder milk during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Do you know that? Did you know that? It's a great time to f find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it, anyway. But, books are full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know you don't... You would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. I feel the same way. Oh god, this is why I like this character, Yuri, so far. Although you're kind of creeping me out a little bit. Uh... Or uh, deep thinkers, the problem solvers, who discover the mysteries of life. So when you lo look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And all those people don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. Okay then, my, why is that a thing that's being made fun of, okay? And... And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Powder Milk. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it, it with you. I was really understood what, what I was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. You beca you Just being patient and respectful, that's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Powdered Milk. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you always treated me just like every, anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I'll treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And with other people you do, who don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping to make friends. And I would say I had so at least one success. Wouldn't you? Um... If you put it that way, yeah. 
we really are friends now, aren't we? I somehow found that creepy. I don't know about you guys, but I found what she just did creepy. Yuri puts her he head in her hands. But in this time, she's smiling that she does it. That she does it. Do you want me to show you me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. I'm afraid of what I'm going to find. The trendles of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance of the blue-green light thickens, a lone figure crosses the path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds, the silhouette glows closer and clo grows closer and closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from the visibility. But I am too late. He steps into the street light, and I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light thickens, my heart pounds, he raises his arm. Time stops. My only indication of movement is the amber light thickens against the, uh, his outstretched arm. The, thick, the flickering ing light in the rhythm of my pounding of my heart, tensing me, uh, easing me for su succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of the ghost feeling warmth before? Giving me underneath, giving you understanding? I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand and flickering stops. Ghosts are, bl are blue green and my heart is amber. Okay, I'm guessing this is a poem written to me. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Oh no, of course not! I just don't really know what I'm supposed to res how I'm supposed to respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, this one's hard to figure out. But what this one was about, I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. She's blushing. It's definitely about me. Yuri is having a harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. And I hope that you keep, keep spending time I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I feel a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. I see it! I see it! I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back towards me. Instead, in response to her warm touch, you can, um, the poem is, once again Yuri fails to form the complete sentences. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. I don't know if I'm good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move before Monica says something. I'm sure she can. we can talk to, again to, later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat and I can put her poem away. Okay, I still got two more. So I usually go in this order, so keep continuing that. Okay, so Yuri, let's do this. So Yuri is easily pleased. And I'm afraid that she's still impressed. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Huh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But... It's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. I really don't like the sounds of this, guys. Uh, my wife told me I fucked up after uh, I found out she got depressed, so... <laughs> my wife has been playing the game. You're really happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Powder Milk. Sayori? Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I was just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright. 
Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! God, he's a child. I'm gonna go home in a little bit early today. Siori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Yuri cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. I don't like the sounds of this. Why is everything changing all of a sudden? Like, everything is changing rapidly! Like, first... Okay, first off, you notice Monica is starting to slowly, slowly portray the fact that she's aware of herself. And Yuri is getting more and more out... becoming more of an outrovert. No, sorry, extrovert, not extrovert. What the fuck am I saying? And Natsuki is, hasn't Natsuki hasn't changed much, but Siori is becoming more depressed, and it's bugging the shit out of me. <sighs> sorry, guys, but sometimes these games really wear my fucking emotions out. Natsuki, I know she doesn't like these. Meh. I guess you really haven't learned anything after all. Honestly, I don't know why I always got my hopes up in the first place. Well, I didn't think it was one that, one that was that bad. What did I do wrong? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding and express something. I'm sorry, but I chose the letters for, C or for Yuri. <laughs> I really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems if they're until you're or Yuri, on Yuri's level. Like this, until, until you're on Yuri's level. Natsuki stops short of all of a sudden. Don't... Don't tell me, huh? You, you're not, you're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know, oh Yuri, and would love this kind of this angsty. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I, I mean. Ooh, it looks like I'm in trouble. Somehow I'm stuck and struck a nerve. Though what did I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed back to her over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is when I got the letter... Got to get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was um, a mind reader, I was destined to be with the world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Hmm, I wonder if I should do multiple Let's Plays of this. Hmm, like, you know, doing different plays. Now, Monica. She never even showed me her poem! I never get to read it! I only got to read Yuri's poem! Hi, Powder Milk. Have you thought a lot about what you want to submit for the perform the at the festival? Well... Being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people. I have given some more er, thought. I have, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure you'll turn out great. Would you make me ha It would also make me happy to see. Haha. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'll let Monica take a look at the poem I'm holding in my hands. Your style's gotten so refined, Powder Milk. Yuri's been teaching you a lot out of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say w more words the past couple of days than she's talked uh, to the whole year. Not sure how uh, you did it, but this is pretty impressive. Well, it just, ne it just needs some patience and the way to talk all, all the things in her he head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. And what? That's... <laughs> SHE'S FUCKING WITH ME AGAIN! <sighs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending a time with her in the club room every day. Reading the edgy uh, a novel with her. Well... I just feel bad that she has this hard time socializing. It makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. Alright, alright. I get you. Just be careful, alright? I know that Yuri isn't 
too open, isn't too opening her, isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she, while she's vulnerable, then it would be really hard for her. Her books aren't the total escape. Her aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. They, they say that if you fear. It's that <clears throat> they say that like I'm. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now. All right? Eh. All right. Okay, this one's a bit long, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. At least it's easier to read. Okay, the lady that knows everything. An old tale tells a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that is ever sought. And here I am. A feather, loft adrift in the sky. Victim to the current of the winds. Day after day, I search. I search for a little hope. Knowing legends don't exist. But when all else fails, when all others have turned away, the legend is all, all that remains, and the last dim star glimming in the twisted sky, until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall, I fall, and I fall, and fall, and even more, gentle, a fe gentle as a feather, my dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. <clears throat> Sorry guys, excuse me. The hand of a beautiful lady. Look in her eyes and find no one at the end of her gaze. The lady that knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which in the amount to no nothing. There is a me there is no meaning, there is no purpose. And all we seek is o only the impossible. I I'm only not a legend. Your legend does not exist. Huh. You know... I feel like learning, learning and looking for answers that are all sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my, my mind, so what's what I wrote about? I see. Never really put my, much work and thought onto it. Anyways, I was also a paradox. It was also almost paradoxical, because if I had all the answers, I wouldn't, in the world, start to lose its meaning. You know? That's one thing I noticed. It seems that like everyone at the club prefers writing about things that have more sad than happy. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we would, uh, wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans are two, uh, two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know oh, better than anyone. You mean, in one-dimensional? <laughs> yeah, that. She just referenced the fact that she's two-dimensional. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Are you ever shy and share your writing because you're afraid that it's not good? Not good? It can be really dishearing that the or response something that something that puts so much into. And if that you find other people who enjoy writing, then share airing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of let, telling the other writers good or okay or bad, then yet you focus more on anything that they went into than th things they can work on. <clears throat> this must be some encouragement that way, and will make you want to continue improving. Almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. Okay, hold on. I'm going to save. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick. Uh, right here, just in case. Okay, uh, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Uh, why doesn't when we start figuring out? Hold on a sec. Is it just me or did someone say hey, something strange just now? Eh? Something a bit, something did set on a bit unusual. That's right. You de deviated from the usual catchphrase ca addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why the mo is the mood so weird today? Look, even you're easily immune to it. Stanging the air is a common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is in the Sayori isn't here. Huh. It seems you're right. Uh. Sorry always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? 
It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the hell did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show oh, some decency. Oh, come on. She's actually feeling... T wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not, not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you to being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Hmm. That's curious expression coming from Yuri, all, of all people. Calm down, guys. Is she getting jealous? That face is someone who's thinking like, Is she gonna steal my senpai? That's what it says to me! <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm about a little bit, uh... I like to say I'm about two-thirds insane. Anyway. I'll talk to her earlier and everything is fu uh, fine. What did she say? Anyway, you need to figure out what the rest of the festival preparation, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But that might need a lot... We might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle all that right by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. HELL YEAH! OH! No, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like... You know... Roid age or... Bolt biceps. <laughs> as, as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling the poetry pamphlets. So Yuri will be helping me design them. As for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, no, that's not at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. No, now, uh, Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never have Sayori enough to credit. I don't, I never give Sayori enough credit, but I can tell that things are even harder when you're she not, she's not around. Yeah. Uh, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri? You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you shall be making banners and decorations as to help upset the atmosphere. Atmosphere? I'm um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes and stares at her desk to focus the start nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's... that's great. Uh, you'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, just that leaves you, Powder Milk. The one who will be truly ex useless. <laughs> don't say that. In fact, not both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty he heavy tasks to handle. I'd probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. Uh, I would be uh, really appreciated of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the week weekend with one of my club members? Uh, how on earth am I going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... I suppose I wouldn't mind if a bit of help. Well, even if you don't oh, want to uh, know how to, ba to bake, there's always some dirty work I, I, I can give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. You shouldn't be uh, sitting in your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I can recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Outer Milk may not like to be around if you only make it, you know, make him out to be a nuisance. Nuisance. So therefore, he may be uh, more suited to assist with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How, how hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Powder Milk to. What are you? What are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work and bait. And baking isn't. Honestly, both are very hard. What the f look at this? This took me about 20 minutes. And I'm very slow. It took my me and my wife out a few couple hours to put up the tree. Ugh. It was only four foot. And baking is hard too. I know because I'm a cook. Just what do what do? Oh, actually, it's not that hard. It's just 
hard depending on the task. Just what, what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Paramount to decide what he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten to the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally said that. Said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we sell this already? I know this is like a fucking harem joke, but seriously. Paramount, you okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Well, I'm probably a most useful helping out with Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you... Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, no. I was just saying... Uh. So if you're helping Yuri then, Powder Milk. Yeah. Well, that's what I was going... That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's a great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to ha handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Duki Nats Natsuki is feeling a bit sour. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Powder Milk? Me? I guess I would say that I'm interested in to see how this tur it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, no. It's not that what I meant at all. Uh, Yuri anxiety anxiety glances between everyone in the room. I'm, so I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Powder Milk picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I ever had. And they go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I was the one acting immature. I already know that. And you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki is the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. And then she already has the trouble with words trying to cheer someone up... up. Uh, must be a, a far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri is trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori that wouldn't say a, a at the time like that. I can't read right! <clears throat> oh, sorry guys, my throat's killing me. <clears throat> my throat isn't what it used to be. Do not make a joke out of that. Because Yuri always helps everyone smile, feel good about themselves. No. I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better, uh, uh, bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah. I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone to do their best. But with that... There's nothing more to t for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, so let's get out there then. Everyone packs up their things, and I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh... Hey? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any other way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, that's right. You're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then I'll stop by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Isn't that, isn't that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be uh, the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I'd prefer to go into your house. Alright, why? So you can do me there without the guilt of your parents being in the other room? <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I am I am really out the wall today. And think guys, right now it's about 45 minutes till Christmas, mo Christmas morning, so... 
<laughs> In that case, I won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like I should uh, matter much either way, so I just needed to make sure my room was clean. I hope I managed to make myself useful in some way. I'm not really nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Powder Milk. I think it will be well at every uh, uh, a very uh, uh, very productive team. You know if you don't. Uh, sorry, I stutter. Uh, even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait, you don't really actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come uh, up with anything other reason than may you may have chosen me. You've forgotten that the only reason that you're most com with the co most common sense. You forget hitting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I wanted to do. But, but, Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. I tell this to my wife all the time. <laughs> you wanted me to put Aina out when you're overthinking it, right? Eh. I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? Guys are this simple! I don't know why some women don't get that. Guys are simple as shit! I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight in my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her a tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that it relaxes her expression. I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After an exchange, after that exchange, I make my way to the door, and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to come to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I'm gotten pretty used to hit handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening where, or outside my out of the school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is that is this a chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But then, until then, I won't be able to make my f mind off of it. Seriously, can't wait. It's already... Okay, okay. My, uh, my views on this so far are this. I think this guy, uh, the way this guy's doing it is the way I'd probably do it. Like, you know, going about it the right way, try to befriend the person before actually trying. Um, I always found it a lot easier, I found it easy to become um, friends with the person before asking them out. Um, yeah. Oh, boy, guys. Ugh, sorry. Oh, boy. You don't know how much that hurts my throat. It's already Sunday. I'm just getting increasingly anxious about your Uri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't. But it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an in intimate person in general. Intimate, very, very intimate. With a capital I, there's t no doubt out that she's open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been in texting occasionally. She was extremely a a apprehensive at first, but it wasn't before long I was already learning more about her. And putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard of this thing from Siori since she left the club earlier the other day. It's not like we text each other other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her and uh, <clears throat> I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between that and Siori said, that Monica and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Siori's feelings aside then she, when she needs me? I decide to visit Siori before Yuri comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over much like I've done with the past. Once I reach Siori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we have made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family. The house is quiet. I don't like how this is quiet. I don't like how it's quiet. Why is it quiet? Hmm. Sorry, isn't anywhere in the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. Already straight. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her room, 
where I finally find her. Siori? I'm not gonna lie, that's kinda cute. Hi, Bottle Milk. I sit down in her room. Siori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell when she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Well, I guess you're right. In a, in a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Siori's room is messy, and it has always been. This is a nice room, to be honest. Better than what I can do. God, my office is a mess. It's a good thing you don't only really see my back wall here, because the rest of the room is, like, trashed. Oh, God, because I still haven't finished unpacking all the boxes. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and all the wall decorations she's had for years now. <laughs> if you come over more often, I wouldn't be such a mess. That's always because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how'd you know that? Suri had already left, left by the time we decided that we had the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep it, me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But just helping her online. We didn't plan to eat up or anything. Ah, uh, so you just... So it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Yuri stares at the random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uh, uncharacteristic. Fine, get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After all, after you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... Yuri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Pyrebilk. Huh? Why can't it, is it... Why can't it just be like it always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get all so weak and, and accidentally expressing my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me all, at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It's just wanted to torture me. <laughs> Siori? I grab Siori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until now, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh... Uh... Siori gives me an empty smile. You really put me on a trap at Powder Milk. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Siori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Powder Milk? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've already had bad depression my whole life. Do you know that? Why do you think I'm late for school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. The reason for the... The reason is there to do any do anything when I fully know how warm, worthful I am, worthless I am. Oh my God! Oh God! I know the feeling. Oh my God! Oh, great! Now I want to cry. Why do games make me want to cry all the time? I keep screaming. <sighs> Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other pe people put their energy of caring to waste by I ha having them spend it on me? That's what I, it feels like. And that's why I just wanted to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Siori kept this from me the entire time that we've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Siori? Huh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? I almost feel like I've been betrayed as, you, as your close friend. As if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. And that's why I'm your friend. Well, all you had to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Powder Milk. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. 
It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone to be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends with uh, and getting closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, so I say, hey, the world just wanted to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Huh? You're, you're right that I wouldn't. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feeling. I don't understand your feelings at all, Siri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No powder milk. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing you could have helped is if everyone could have liked it, could have been like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what was, what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Siori's face. Oh no. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was punished by the heart hurt my heart hurting in a way that I wouldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I just, I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And there, that's why I'm going to accept these punishments because I deserve every last one. Oh my god. It's so fucked. This time I'll pull her into a tight. In, this time I'll I pull her in a tight embrace. Uh, powder milk, Siori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, that's just a, a bonus. Because you never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Powder milk, Siori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Siori's arms were made into her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this. Powdered milk? I Siori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I wanted to do for her is care uh, do But all I wanted is for her to know I care. If you ha have it in your or to call yourself selfish you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to be changed. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, you better, you, then you better tell me. Oh my god. I know I'm like this. I'm like the character. I'm like the main character in so many ways. And Siori... Because oh. sometimes I can't understand how to... It bugs me. See, um, my wife suffers from depression. And, and when she has these depression states, I can't fix her because she's not depressed for a particular reason. She doesn't have a reason. She's in this state, and it's, it makes it difficult sometimes. And I wish I can find a way to help, but there's no way I can, and it just drives me crazy. Ugh, guys... I feel this right now. This is like hitting too close to home. Then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Suri finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any any of my feelings, Powder Milk. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sorry, let me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh. Uh. It's what I meant, what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sorry wipes her eyes. 
If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Oh, of all days, this would be a nice one where I have other... Is it, out of all days, this is, has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet, meet me in my house. At, le at the very least, do you want me to come along and help out? Well, it wouldn't be fun. To my surprise, Yuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if I, that would be a very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'll try it my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Oh, God, guys, that was really hard, hard on me. Oh. Now think about that, guys. Think. Um, I still think Siori has feelings for the main character. And the worst part is he's going after Yuri, and I think it's breaking her heart even more. I say goodbye to Siori and uh, exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard on me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Siri is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely... Oh, I'm sorry. Going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what is ahead of me. As I approach the house, I see something that feels like... Makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I, I started to get very nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have text you, you always could have text me if I had known I would have reassured you that I hurried more on my way home. Ah, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should have been common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought out a lot of stuff with you. That's right. I right, and uh, did you manage to find uh, everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. First thing she does is glance around curiously to make me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so... That's very considerate of you to do. Uh, no, I would have really been embarrassed if my room would have been in a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Uh... That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look it in there. Snatch it. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was the process of opening the desk drawer of mine. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly on my lap as if making it and she's keeping track of them. Sorry, um, should we get started? I'm guessing that's where you're keeping your porn. What else could have that drawer been? Uh, yes. And I have a few things planned out for where I can help with. Decorations and other uh, astrophic events. Ast atmospheric enchant enhancements? You know. Good lighting, atmospheric candles. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned all- uh, aching it um, that far. Of course. I want to help make our guest to, uh, far, take our guest to a faraway place. Although it may, <laughs> although many will stop by just out of curiosity. But and for cupcakes, I guess. I'm determined to provide an experience that will ha have them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. It's something that I really like about you, actually. Is that so? It makes me feel relieved. And kind of happy. Yeah? No need to be so anxious. You re you can relax a little. Relax? I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. 
was rummaging, Yuri was rummaging through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and wooden uh, cylinder-shaped objects. I put some. I did some shopping in here, and I was so happy to have these in my bag. I planned to cover the window in the black windows and black paper and use the candles and light the room. I like. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, but that. Yeah, that would be really neat. What's the wooden thing, though? Oh, this? It's a diffuser an element for elemental essential oils. Oh, by the way, guys, essential oils are fucking awesome. I got an early gift on them. I got one that smells like peppermint. Oh. How familiar are you with the uh, aromatherapy? Not familiar at all. Ah, is that so? I think my favorite kind of contributors are a pot... Uh, to a, <clears throat> it's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. They're really awesome, by the way. Uh, depending on the oils and herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. I got the peppermint because of the, uh, because of the, <laughs> you know, Christmas. You know, you can feel, you can even feel it permeate through your body. Re relaxation, po uh, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri makes a cylinder and pu pushes a switch on the bottom. But just take a moment. The inner ray of vapors begin to <clears throat> spout through the small hole at the bottom. Wow, it smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that for? This is a jasmine essential oil. I have that. It smells like sweet, eaten flowery, right? Yeah. That would be a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for events because it provide more relaxation. Jasmine enhances the emotions and helps them feel the flow through their body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that would be a perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches for a bag and pulls out several spools of ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you uh, purchase the origami paper I asked for to get? Yeah. Uh, I have, have it over here. We don't want to be using the paper for folding origami. And what, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is write different words on each piece of paper. Oh uh, well, we need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? Well, the, what are those used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to ha hang the on the door or is the classroom, and then I'm going to fasten the paper or to the ribbons and create a doorway curtain. Uh, wouldn't that be beautiful? <clears throat> Sorry guys, my throat. It would also uh, catch the eye of those passing by in the room. It would also attract someone to peek inside. That's all, that's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I get a little intense as you, get, as you put it. <laughs> Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is it more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the intense <laughs> excitement she feels when she's sharing something that she enjoys. You're a mar arc Here's a marker, Powder Milk. I almost said you're a marker, what the fuck. Okay, you can write it. any character you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. I realize my camera is a little low. Uh, fuck, I'm just gonna sit up more. Alright. I'm sitting on the floor together, the two of us to get work together. I carefully draw different characters in each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels Oh god, I'm kind of tired, guys. Unravels a long strand of red ribbon in her design strength. And then she reaches her bag for more carefully to pull out a pocket knife. Eh. A knife that is strangely beautiful. A silver handle is in any pattern that... In intri... Intricate... Intri... Intricated intricate pattern that waves etched into it. The blade itself was, uh, was gently tinted blue. That is no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well, embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each, to each of our own, you know. If you promise you won't be weird about... Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I, I, I'm kinda into knives. Okay! You're a fucking yandere! I can see it! I can see it! I can see it! They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. 
A combination of craftsmanship, a feeling of danger, maybe. Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think of it weird for this. <laughs> you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just funny how you're nervous to get a, a go, you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. It's actually pretty common. My... Guys, I have swords. If you saw my pumpkin smashing video, I cut that shit with some swords me and my wife got. Um, um, I, well, I think it's kind of, it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. Is it? Isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like, like to hold it? Sure, I, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and tur earns out, uh, I turn in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Ud, where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of the, of the sharpness, I feel the tip point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Powder milk? Why did you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's, it's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through a skin like paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Ernie takes my hand and gives the little closer look. Ah. She stares at me a little noticeably fidgets. If you're, a squ if you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Uh, uh. Without warning, she pu Rear puts the finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. St uh, startling, I, in I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I... Yuri lowers her head and her face burning up. Yuri? It's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. How could I have done something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, sure, it's a little weird, but it looked at me like surprise. But I guess he, she's just trying to help, but, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting a little. Uh, she doesn't lift her head. What if she do doesn't cover from this and the rest of her in the afternoon? Alright, you know what? That might have been a stupid thing to do, but it, I'll do it anyway. I take Yuri's hand and lick her index finger in return. Powder milk! Did you really just do that? Now we're even. Yuri just looks at me like, like I did something wrong. Uh, I knew that would have been a bad idea. If not for the sweetest aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would have been extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, powder milk. Yuri giggles shyly. Uh, Yuri called me weird. I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need eat, eat one exactly. It was a tiny cut. Look, Marie stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. Now, I don't know what the fuck that was about. Why the fuck did she lick it? Why did she lick it? That's creepy. Yet again, I can't talk. I'm not explaining that. Uh, we'll resume the respect room their respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through a ribbon like it was nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress with the paper. After we finish attaching the paper with ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. Looks better than I expected, and it'll be very effective in the as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. <sighs> Thanks. It's just something I want I saw all online, really? You really um you really, uh, are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you ha have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy uh, the paint tables. Ah, that's right. I, uh, one of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor uh, paint tablets. Sorry, paint tablets. Well, we need uh, six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. What do you, um, excuse me, what do you mind catching those for me, for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh. It's just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, they'll be too, too diluted. Yuri, um, taking Yuri's advice, I decided a small plastic cup bathroom cups rather than ha full size cups. I put them in the plate and take the paint, and it's that drip, 
Oops, and bring them back. He paints that drips. <clears throat> I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring them back into the room. Okay, sorry guys, I'm terrible at reading right now. Yuri! Yes? Sorry, I read that wrong. Yuri? Yes? I'll come see uh, Yuri quickly, unrolling her sleeve, pulling back her arm. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. It's nothing wrong, so let me mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets and draw them into the cups. So, I thought we would do, do something simple that would make it very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Or, uh, starting with the colors this, of the sunrise of, di of daytime, then sunset at and nighttime. Once it dries, it'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. And then we'll hang it in on the podium in front of the classroom. Haha, <laughs> neat. What are you going to write? Well, it'll be more fun to surprise you. More fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so, rolling, after rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel opposite sides so we don't um, get in the way of each other. Yuri tries to br uh, brush the adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to uh, serve a color guide I'd, uh, I'd do uh, when we paint. <clears throat> when uh, This uh, kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with the watercolors feels like... Like that art class project we ha had back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels kind of too childish. No, I didn't mean it like that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's always fun to be a kid. Uh, I'm kind of glad to feel that way too. Man, it's getting close to midnight. Yuri stops pl pa uh, painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me... I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even do that. Want to? I just w I just like it when I spend time with one other person, even if it's something simple like reading, or it doesn't even matter what we if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes f things feel e a little bit nicer. I think it's all that makes me happy. I think that's all that ticks to make me happy. But I, be ah, I can't read it right. Ah, is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I understand where she's coming from. I feel the way... I feel... <clears throat> the, I feel that way about things that, like anime and games where simply sharing experiences with someone you ma make me happy. It makes me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you would understand. Yuri leans over the banner and grabs an unused paintbrush. But I move at the same time and chasing my head to bumps hers. Yuri, yeah, so sorry. Yuri kneels back and I quickly lift my hand in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I shouldn't have asked you to get it for me. No, it's not your fault. Oh, your face. There were droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I actually put that paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I gotta tell her right away. I rush out and fetch the towel, and then I empty it with a little hot water. I return to the room and kneel back and down in front of her. Okay, this is really getting too far with this. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and the neck with a towel. Uh, something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Okay, sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I started to react in my head. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Huh? Just a little bit, for a little bit longer. It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. This is an intense expression I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped in her own thoughts. She breathes gent gently, ha after halfway slightly parted her lips. What is happening? Is the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrap up around my wrist. Feeling a tingling sensation through my arm, and suddenly her, uh, her face seems to be much closer to my mind than it was just a moment ago. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry, I've been feeling a little light lightheaded lately. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again 
and for a moment she seems clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just ha transpired. I hesitantly retrieved uh, our own brush, continuing following Yuri's example. Now, I want to say this right now. What the fuck? For one, at the same time, I was like, get the fuck away from her. But in my head, I'm like, up here, I'm like, get the fuck away from her. Right here, I'm like, kiss the shit out of her. Violate her mouth with your mouth. That's what I was thinking I'm thinking here. That's what I was thinking here. What is wrong with me? That should do it. I finished filling the night sky eye with the white dots and looks like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole is pretty as natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I, I was really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add, add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. And, and ah, <sighs> that's true, but well, won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here and you have it bring it in the morning. I could do the lettering in the classroom before the event starts. Is that okay? Yeah, that's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, you don't th think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you sit in it like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself for a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I was just glad we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about it. Uh, I'm. We need to start making dinner soon. Huh? So you don't ha have any time left? I was secretly hoping she would have an extra time after finishing the work. Well, she really thinks to myself. I think I would be too irresponsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping you would need much more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that you're... I'm sorry, guys, I'm very tired. It is almost midnight right now. The important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So, I, should be sh I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all the things, Yuri seemed to look at me a little d downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she, re she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends and relax from the environment. But this doesn't mean that this is the last time this will happen. Once again, Yuri packs up, and I walk her out the door, front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem, I'm glad I was able to help. Just to let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then, Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say without thinking. About today. And it was fine that we didn't have much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whatever you want. You can come over and we can go out somewhere. Oh, and I forgot, you don't like going out much. As I stumble over my words, Yuri simply smiles brashfully. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Powder Milk. Yuri takes a step closer to me and then briefly squeezes my hand. I kind of... I like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? This got really quiet. I don't even know... And I don't even get to ch uh, chance to, as Yuri suddenly pulls back. So Yuri? Huh? Uh, hi, Powder Milk. So Yuri? Just now, we're, we were... <laughs> it's okay, Powder Milk. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh -huh. Well, this kind of uh, escalated quickly. Well, it's nice to see you. <laughs> well, I I'm sorry, but I were I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, uh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll ha we'll be together at the festival tomorrow. So, so that's fine, right? Of course. Siri beams. Yeah. So, oh no, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Siori waves goodbye after. Siori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come he here and see it for myself. See what? What you were talking about. You know? How much fun you were having with Yuri. And now how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. That you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Siori's face. Don't make me cry! That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Powdered Milk? Am I supposed to be happy for you? Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This is what 
This would be so much better if I would just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Powder Pilk. If it wasn't there, then you wouldn't have to waste mere sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put it with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Siori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I couldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, sorry, looks away. I put my hand in on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, powder milk. I'm really scared. What are you so scared of, Siori? I'm scared that... I'm scared that I might like you more than you like me. Siori? I KNOW IT! Is it true? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and start. I, I was weak and started to like you too much. I did, did this to myself, powdered milk. I like you so, so much that I wanted to die. That's how I feel. And, and, that's enough, Siori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Siori's arm and squeeze her hand in my arm. Do you remember how, how I said I always know oh, what's the best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Siori nods. Even if you don't understand all your feelings, I know what you need to the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give you. Oh no. No! You're gonna be... No, you're gonna make me do this! No! No! Don't make me do this! Oh! Why are you making me do this? Be my dearest friend. What you need most of the thing be like you've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happy you seem after you joined the club. I know that you're struggling with some really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best. I know it sounds like the positive light on both things, but the thing is, I know what's in Siori's head right now. I can see it. I know how people think, and I know that if you give a choice like that in any game, if you do not say I love you in any sense, you are a fucktard! Cause you fucked this person! You fucked this person! That's what happened! I'm freaking out! Trust me, I know what's best and what makes you happy in the end. I promise I'll help you think things back act the way they were. I... I see. Zuri so forced a smile through an incredible pain expression. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be stabbed in the chest. I wrote a poem about this. Ziari? It's okay. Isn't this just my punishment for being so selfish? So please, don't worry about these stupid feelings. See what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what you were. You were right. I knew this whole time that there was no happiness down the path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing? You are also right that I was just wanting to go back the way it was. I realize that now. You really no do know me better than anyone, Powder Milk. I trust you with anything. After all, at all, at all, at all. so, sorry, smiley, smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Ah! <laughs> Clutching her head in both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. 
Sorry looks over his shoulder and flashes me one weak smile before turning around and running off. Siori! I left my I was left helplessly standing in front of my house. And now my feelings are horrible about this. There's nothing more that I could, could have done. The most I could have supported Yori for her feelings and help her in the path that was right. I'm having so much trouble understanding Yori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I could do any something more or something different. I know this stuff. All these thoughts are what continue to plague me until th things are back the way they were. I'm going to give the, everything I've got. Siori will always be my dearest friend. All I do to make it put a smile on her face every day. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You know what? I'm gonna leave this episode unedited because of this. This video is going to be unedited completely. You're going to get all the awkward silences. I don't give a shit. What the fuck was this? You fucking fucked with my mind. That hit way too close to home. I was literally crying. Cry again. Well, anyway, guys, it's Christmas Day now. Merry Christmas, guys. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you guys in the next. I'll catch you guys later. Stay out of my friends. Bye.